What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome, and today we have the Enduro, the Gatekeeper Buggy. It's a 110 scale, I'll put links down in the description below for everything I talk about when it comes to this awesomeness truck. So they do come in uh, three different forms. So they come in a kit, they come in a ready to run, and then they come into a combo ready to run where it comes with a lipo and charger. So if you really want the whole complete package without having to think about what battery, then you can go with that combo. So I'll put all those links in there along with other little things I'm gonna go ahead and talk about. But without further ado, I'm gonna get this thing out of the box. This thing does come with an 80 amp electronic speed controller, two or three S, capable of a nickel metal if you wanna run that. It's a 16 turn motor, so really cool. It does even have the option, we'll get into it. I'll show you some other stuff, but let's get this thing out of the box. It is, speaking of the box, it is pretty cool because they have, uh, the inside of the box is actually like a little stage, so you can stage the car, take pictures and all that cool stuff, post it on Instagram. So I really like that. Dang, what the heck? Where's the vehicle at? What the? I see something behind it. Oh yeah! Oh, there it is, man. I put different wheels on this. So it looks awesome now, I love it. So I'll give you the stock wheels here. These are the stock wheels. If you've seen plenty of unboxings and you see the stock wheels, right? So pretty nice, they are bead locks. So they have the six screws that are on there. You can get those off. Really nice, it's nice and soft, but I wanted to go ahead and go with these Fling Kings from J Concept. These things look so sick. Let me go ahead and show you guys the other stance, just that front stance. Oh man, it looks really good. So I wanna put a different motor in it. You guys can leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about what type of motor setup. But for now, just uh, let's take a look a little bit more. Uh, let me go ahead and go over what's in the box anyhow for you guys that are like, oh man, what else is in the box? So it has an adapter plate, really cool. So that way you can put two servos. One would be your winch. The other one would be your steering, so really nice. It has some other gears in here uh, to make the front wheels spin a little bit faster and then allowing those other wheels in the rear to just have more traction. So that is cool. Bigger battery tray, other little parts that are in here for servo horns and such, but that is cool. I'm gonna be actually be using this longer uh, battery tray because I wanna put a full-size LiPo in there instead of the shorty pack that, that they have set up as of now. So let's go ahead and take a look other stuff would be your instructions for your radio. Radio is cool. Um, some of you guys might be like, well, okay, so you put bigger wheels on it. Okay, these are 2.6 wheels, and I'm gonna show you the part numbers and everything like that. Is it gonna hit, rub the body? So, on a flex, yes, it would. What you can do, you know, for me, I'm okay with it because it looks really cool. I'm gonna turn down the steering dual rate, the DR here, and uh, let's see if we can get that to kind of focus a little bit. Turn that down a little bit so that way it allows my wheel to only turn so far. So I'm okay with that. I can always adjust that back. So I do like these radios that are on the fly, adjust and uh, keep going. So four double A's at the bottom. Instruction manual that you get. And it does have stickers, all kinds of, looks like pretty cool little stuff. Uh, binding plug, so there's the Fling Kings. These are the tires. These are the gold compound, soft. And there you go as far as part number 315505. So I'll put those in there. So you're gonna need, these come in pairs. So these would be the wheels come in pairs, not in sets, so you only get two. Oh, you guys didn't see that. 2.6 mega truck, 12 millimeter hex adapter wheel. Uh, offset on this thing up to, I think it's like a 32 offset. That's what I'm using right now. So that allows these to go as wide as I can get them for right now. So like I said, I'll put links down in the description below. So let me give you a little side shot. It does have six screws that hold that hub adapter on. Well, you can kind of see those a little bit better. And then just the inside of it too. So I do like it. I do like them. So they have this little cover right here, this little plastic cover. And that way you can paint it up. So just in case you decide to go with, oh, I'm not gonna go with that body, I'm gonna go with a clear one, I'm gonna go with the kit. You can use these. These cover up, we'll call it, you know, ha not having to 
see all those little screws. You're gonna have screws on the outside, same amount, six. But you're gonna have it where this, give you a little bit of extra style here where you can paint this. So if you wanna paint it like a green or a white or black or whatever, we're not even using it at all. You can, then you can mount that in there. So I think that's pretty cool, a little customization that way. It does have a little uh, fuel cell in the back, a little plastic one, nothing's in it. There'd be two body clips right on that post in there. And you just lift up on it, that's it. So it's got a hinge up in the front. So really nice. Since we're up in the front real quick here, that plate that I was showing you before, this little plate here, you can remount, put that plate in there, then you can mount your servo and then the other servo for your steering. Then you can relocate. You know what I'd probably do is just take this electronic speed controller, relocate it to this battery tray because I'm going to put the longer one in there and you're good on that one. You could relocate it to different areas. So you got your motor, your brush motor. Suspension on it's really nice. It looks nice. We're gonna see how it all kind of works out. Digging it, all the paint scheme on it. But I just wanna kind of show you guys this, why I kind of chose this vehicle. So maybe that'll inspire someone else, be like, yeah, that looks really cool. I love those wheels. Yeah, because of stock ones, and I was like, it wasn't really doing it for me. But now, it just transforms this vehicle into something I think it looks super sick. I might be happy with just it being on a brush motor. You know me, probably not. But I figured we'd give it a try. Even like the, the figures here, their heads move a little bit so you can kind of point them like, what the heck are you looking at, man? So I do like it. It is cool. So hopefully you guys like that as well. Leave a comment below like, yeah, man, you need to, you know, put a different motor in there. You know, maybe a 4,000 might be a little bit too high on the RPM. Uh, or maybe a, a 3,000, something like that. Maybe an 1,800. I don't know. We'll have to kind of see, play it around. I got some other motors to put in here. But for the time being, definitely going to run it. And we'll run it on a 3S. I really like 3S. So we'll see how it is. Will a 16 turn run a 3S? That's another question. That might not be very good on a 16 turn brushed motor. So we'll see. See how it all kind of works out. If anything, I'll run it on 2S, but I am gonna use that battery locator and that one, the bigger, you can't put it up in the front. That's why they're using the small one. And when you're crawling, the thing is you wanna have all that weight towards the front. That way you get most traction here. But for me, I'm not really too concerned with it. So I'm gonna put that tray back here. It'll fit perfect because it's wider in the rear than it is up in the front. And uh, have fun with that. So cool Dean connections. So really nice. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love the vehicle. I think it's cool. Like I said, so leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about it. Till next time, you guys take care. Links down in the description below. Check us out, omgrc.com. Catch you real soon. Peace.